There's actually another really cool rifle that's just been added to Way of the Hunter. That's the 9.3x62 bolt action rifle, the Steyr Mandlicker full stock. And that is what we're looking at today right here. Did I say Mandlicker? <laughs> Manlicher. Manlicher. We'll, we'll go with Manlicher. I don't think it's Manlicker. <laughs> um, but we're going to take a look at this today. It looks pretty incredible. I love how the barrel's not that long, but yet it's got a really, really thick barrel. And you can see it has the spiral wrap around it. That's gonna be pretty good. I'm thinking it's gonna have quite a bit of knockdown power. Well, we're about to find out because we're gonna take this thing out today for some Rosva elk, black bear, and then maybe even some Cape Buffalo. All right, let's get that. And let's add it to our storage. There we have it, the man liquor. That's what I was looking for. We just found a nice herd of elk out here. In fact, I believe they're mostly all bull. Either that or there's at least four bulls out here and a couple cows. I do believe that's gonna be the biggest bull right over there at roughly 260 yards. So he's kind of tucked in behind that brush there, but we'll wait until he steps out and go for our first shot ever with a 9.3 bolt action rifle. Ooh, that's another decent one there as well. Ooh, actually, we may be going for this one because that's a two-star mature and a one-star mature. Hmm. Well, we'll check to see what this is. This is a one-star adult. We're actually not gonna be going for him. <laughs> as a matter of fact, what is this one here? And that one is a one-star young. So then we have this two-star mature here as well. And then there's another one coming out. That's the one star mature there. And a cow. All right, this guy here is stepping out. Let's get ready for a shot on him. So we'll be zero for 160 because we aren't really gonna have much drop. That bull actually has a pretty nice rack for a two star. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that's a nice looking bull. But because he is bigger, I would love to go for a shot on him. However, now he's laying down and it's gonna make for a much more difficult shot opportunity here. But we'll slide over a little bit. A 9.3, oh, he's getting up, he's getting up. 9.3 should have some more knockdown power than what we're used to. So, in fact, we're going to try for a front-on shot just to be able to see how good this 9.3 really is. We're going to try for a front-on shot. Wow! Huh. Are you kidding me right now? Like, are you kidding me? He's down. Wow! <laughs> unbelievable wow that thing sounded incredible and it had so much penetration that that bull didn't go 15 yards and piled right up i'm not gonna lie i was not expecting that holy a front on angled shot we must have obviously hit heart and lung as well for that thing to go down that quickly but wow, let's get over there and go take a look. Actually, we want to mark where he's at so we don't lose. Right there he is piled up. Let's get over there and go take a look. I'm actually pretty excited about this. As I said, I was not expecting that. I didn't really know what to expect. I mean, I know the 6.5 Creedmoor is incredible, but what are the odds that two rifles are going to be that good? You know what I mean? Oh, oh we got muleys out here. All right, we also have the 6.5 on us, so if we need to, we could take down... Oh, whoa! What? I mean, I thought I heard something coming, but wasn't exactly sure what it was. Clearly, it was something that didn't want us around and took us out. Well, that's quite a bit unfortunate. Luckily, we did mark where our elk is at, right over there. But the unfortunate part is we have to go way the heck over here 
to get to a tent to somewhat come to that direction. All right, well, let's get over there. Actually, we may run into that black bear that we saw in the beginning, so this could just work out here. Let's see what happens. If that bear's around here, we should be able to spot it real quick. Oh, there he is, son of a. Okay. It's gonna be a bit of a difficult shot, but. Oh, right behind her. Right behind her. She's hit, I think she's hit. Oh my God, this rifle is unbelievable. I'm pretty sure she's hit. The good thing is we gotta go over here anyways. If there wasn't so many trees in the way, we definitely could have had her so bad. But that was difficult. Trying to hit her running wide open, going through all these trees here just was not an easy opportunity. Oh, whoa, whoa, we got more bear calling. Where? Where, where, where? Over there. Oh, there she is. 250 yards. Uh, is she laying there? Oh my god, what a heck of a shot. She's absolutely smoked and she's going down. She just tipped over right there. <laughs> wow. Well, we made up for that one, I'll tell you that. All right, now we're gonna mark that spot there. So basically what we did is we're zero for 160 and I know the second bar down is 300. So we pretty much held between 160 and 300 and that would have been 250. She was about 280 yards out there. So that's, that's a smoke black bear, I'll tell you that. Um, but now we need to make up our mind on what we should do here. We're starting to get a little bit uh, too much distraction here. All right, we're gonna go back over here and we'll grab this bear quick. Then we'll go over, it's a little unfortunate we have to run the opposite direction, but anyways, we'll go over here. Grab this bear. What I like about this rifle too is it shoots so fast. So fast. And it's really smooth. The reload time is incredible. I mean, this whole weapon pack here is honestly a huge, huge upgrade. Yeah, so we pretty much held right on top of the heart at about 280 yards. So I figured we'd have a little bit of drop. But I'm thinking it connected quite nicely because it looked like it was going down almost instantly. All right, so we took the shot right around here. And our bears piled up right there. Wow, we don't even have to track it. I'm not even sure where we hit it. Oh, we hit it right there. Wow, look at that blood. It literally didn't go. 10 yards, 10 yards is as far as that thing went. And we're getting a call from yet another, or at least what I thought was another black bear. But let's see how we did. Our first bear down with a 9.3 and we did in fact make an incredible double lung heart shot, 330 yards. Look at that straight through the heart. Absolutely incredible shot. Look at the bullet too. Wow, that's awesome. Came out all the way, clean pass through. Just couldn't have been much more perfect than that. Wow. All right, we took the shot right about here. I'm definitely not seeing any blood here just yet, but that doesn't mean we didn't hit it. White-tailed deer tracks. Kind of interesting. Well, that may have actually been a clean miss. Because I'm not seeing any blood or any tracks over here at all. And in that case, that's actually a pretty good thing. What do we got here? Almost looks like a white tail. No, one star mature. All right, we're for surely taking him and another one star mature there as well. Whoa, what do you say we double up here? What do we got there? That's a doe. 
Wait until it steps forward a little bit more. I mean, absolutely smoke that one, but this thing just friggin' darted. Oh, that is him. He's slowing down. We might get a second chance here. Well, if we could get an opening, we could get a shot off. Wow. Oh, more blood here. Blood way the heck over there. Don't ask me how he got that far. And there's our buck down right there. So somehow, oh, because we were watching for the other buck to step out. We didn't even notice that this buck ran all the way back across here and went almost to the same spot that our elk is at. Here's our buck and we did get a very nice double lung shot. Again, just missed the top of the artery there. But clear pass through right through the center of the lung there. Actually, the exit should have been almost dead center perfect. Look at that. Yep. Perfect. That was a one star mature, so a good buck to take down. Horrendous genes, 25%. So awesome buck to take out of this herd. Whoops. All right, we'll pick him up. And now we're going to take a look at our first big bull elk down with a 9.3. And look at this. I love seeing the blood on the leaves like this. That just looks so cool and super realistic. That is honestly one of the coolest things to see when you're hunting deer in real life or elk. And you just know you made an incredible shot. But here he is piled up right here. Let's take a look at this bull. We ended up pulling off a double lung heart shot. 267 yards with one of the most difficult angles quarter directly at us. And we still went all the way through the center of the heart. Well, technically we didn't hit the heart. We just nicked the edge of the artery. Or I should say we went right through the artery and just nicked the edge of the heart. And then it stopped right there. But that is quite some penetration. Look at how far. You're talking at least like 22 inches into the chest cavity of this big bull elk. That is amazing. And that was the angle that we had right there. I'd like to be able to uh, see that a little better. Oh, just like this. Here we go. Okay. So you can see the angle is just like that right there. And we buried that thing right up in there. Perfectly. All right. Awesome. And that was actually a two star mature bull. So again, a really good one to take down. The one side looked decent. The other side, not so much. Holy, look at the size of that bull. Now that is a bull. Wow. It's guaranteed a three star, maybe even more. There's another bull there. That one's not quite as big. All right, there he is out there, 350 yards. Right there, he's stepping out. Man, is that one heck of a bull. I don't think we're going to pass this up. I don't think so. I think we're going to go for the shot. No matter what it is, I still want to get him just because he's quite an impressive bull. Although I'm definitely not going to take him on the trot, I'll tell you that. So we're going to try and get up here. See if we can't get to the top of this uh, rock here. And maybe get a shot off on him as he cuts across right through here. Oh, so one of his paddles there is a little bit smaller and messed up compared to the other one. All right, so we got him out there 330 yards out. He's about to step out. And when he does, we're going to be ready to take the shot. So it looks like one of his paddles is a little bit messed up compared to his other side there. So I'm going to say he's probably going to be a three-star mature. Oh, where'd this bull come from now? I don't know where that bull came from, but this is definitely the biggest one. So we're going to go for a 350 yard shot on this bull. Let's crouch down. Wait till he angles a little bit more. 
See, he's slightly quartering at us, and although we could take that, I'm not going to. There we go, much better. And we tried to catch Hart there. Absolutely smoked him. Whether or not we got Hart, I don't know. Oh, there he is. There he is. Watch him. Watch that bull hard. He is absolutely hammered. Watch that bull. He should lay down right on top of that ridge. And he just tipped over right there. He just tipped over. Wow. What a heck of a shot. And what an incredible, magnificent bull we just took down. That was quite impressive. An over 350 yard shot on a bull moose. And we hammered him. All right, he ran a long, long ways. I would have thought we would have gotten double lung, but maybe because of the angle he was at, we only did in fact get a single lung hit. Nonetheless, he is piled up right on top of that ridge there, alongside of this bull here. Now, I feel like we should probably take this bull down as well. He might be a one-star adult. That's the only thing about that, but I mean, just for the purposes of this video, we're going to take a shot on this bull as well. He is... 320 yards out. Wow! That's a hard shot. That is a hard shot all day long, right there. Holy, just put him right down. Instantaneously. So you can already see the blood down here from where we took down that first bull. Really good pink blood. Not a lot of blood. And especially because of the fact that he ran a good, uh, probably 300 yards. Honestly, he ran all the way there, 100 yards, circled back 100 yards, and then went up to the top of this hill about 50 yards up. So he probably went close to 300 yards. But granted, it is a bull moose. They're quite a bit bigger than say the white tail or mule deer or even a black bear but with the black bear oh whoa 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 how are we gonna get up here just like that <laughs> just gotta hop our way up to the top <laughs> all right here's this bull here and there's that bull there wow okay let's see what this was it was a straight through the center of the heart shot wow I'm talking dead center hard shot. Even nicked the artery as well. That bull was absolutely smoked. It was a two-star mature, so a perfect bull to take down as well. Sometimes you gotta take chances. But a 1,200 pound bull moose hit the ground instantly from that shot. That is quite impressive. And super, super accurate. I mean, he doesn't really look like a two-star mature. But I guess it's a good thing we took him down. What were his genes? 53%, so not good genes at all. Yeah, that was a fantastic bull to take down. But this bull here, I guarantee had good genes. I couldn't tell how big it was. It looked massive. It looked absolutely massive, and we did get him in the back of the lung. At 320 yards, we, I believe, did we get a double lung shot? No, we didn't. We only actually got a single lung hit. Normally, that shot there, a moose would survive that shot. But because this 9.3 is a little stronger than the 300 Magnum, the back of the lung took down that bull. We got a lot more drop than I thought. And he must have been walking when we took that shot because we were trying to hit right here. So because he took a step, we actually hit him way further back than what I would have liked, but 
Let's find out what he was. He was a perfect bull to take down. A three-star mature, 67% on the jeans. So yeah, he looked massive. I can't believe I thought he was a five-star. Probably because I haven't seen a big bull out here in a good while, but I mean, he's definitely an awesome looking bull. Just not quite as big as I thought. Still a fantastic bull to take down with a 9.3. All right, now we're really gonna put this thing to the test. We're out here in Africa and we have a kudu out here, 600 yards. We're gonna be going for a shot with a 9 point. Well, I guess we're not gonna be going for a shot with a 9.3. We loaded up to this map here and we only have the 6.5. I'd still love to be able to go for the shot with the 6.5. So we're gonna go for a, how far did I say that was, 600 yards? 620 yard shot yeah that's uh quite a ways but we're using one of the most accurate rifles in the game right now and where did it go what the actual heck there it is He smoked dude that thing is so smoked we got him a little bit high upper lung but we're shooting downwards <laughs> i can't imagine he's gonna go maybe 150 yards and tip over 640 yard shot wow these wildebeest here didn't even spook these are 400 yards so they're just barely in range to not spook but I forgot when you change maps, you actually grab a whole new loadout. So we're going to have to go back and grab the 9.3 in a second. Actually, we got the outpost right here. I suppose we could just go in here real quick and grab it. Shouldn't be too difficult. Okay. Now we got it. Probably could have just done that. Hold on. We might be able to take down this kudu here. 560 yards. We'll go 430. <laughs> Missed. Definitely doesn't shoot as flat as the 6.5. All right, wait a second. That was not a miss. That was far from a miss. He's hit hard. He is hardly even moving. I don't know why I thought that was a miss. But I also don't know if he's gonna go down. Let's kind of wait a little bit and see what happens. What? What the actual heck just happened, you guys? A 600 yard shot. I thought we dropped low. And we must have smoked him because he's laying right there. Can't really beat that. I mean, wow. Okay, well, let's mark that and go take a look. Oh boy, we are getting stampeded. Oh no, oh no, oh my god, run, 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 oh no, oh, 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 get out of here, oh my god, what the heck is this? We just smoked something. It was literally point blank range from us. Luckily, we grabbed the 9.3 and it did a pretty good job. But, all right, here's our big bull kudu down, and wow, the closer we get, the bigger this thing looks. Oh my god, what the heck did we shoot here, guys? What in the heck is this bull? Look at the size of that thing. So, our shot was a left lung shot at 534 yards. Just barely got the back of the lung there, and it pushed... Did we get a single? Yeah, a single lung shot. 
Looks like it might have nicked the intestine. How big was that bull? Oh, it was a two-star adult. Holy, that's probably one of the worst bull kudu that we could have taken out of this herd. 98% on the genetics as a two-star adult. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. <laughs> I mean, I knew he was big, but a two-star adult. Wow. Well, what are you going to do? Sometimes that happens. You know what? We're going to be happy that we took down ourselves a big bull kudu. And that's all we can really say for now. Hopefully the other one wasn't the same situation. This one, I don't even know if we got or not, but it seemed like one heck of an incredible shot. What do we got over here? A lion? Oh my god, we got a lion. Oh my god. Alright, we got a lion cutting across here. Oh, hit a foot and a half behind that thing. Oh my god. There's no way we're hitting that thing. Wow. I mean, if it was open, that's one thing, but we had trees all around us here. And then he got behind that little hump there, and that was all we had. We will track him down, though, because I'd really like to get a nice lion with a 9.3. And a Cape Buffalo as well. Alright, I believe our kudu was right around here. Somewhere around here. Not seeing any blood yet, but... Is that? No, that's not blood either. That is blood, actually. Okay, so we got some blood here. Let's backtrack this thing. Oh, I can't tell from that color there. It looks pretty pink to me, but where's the first spot we hit this thing? Oh, right here, I found it. There we go. Okay, that's definitely lung blood. We got him. Now we gotta try and find this thing. That's gonna be the next part of this task. Alright, we got blood right here going this way. There we go. Now I got some more blood. Well, luckily for us, he's going across this wide open valley here. So we should be able to spot him pretty soon. Blood, 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 blood all the way across here. More blood cutting across here. I mean, he ran a long ways, but that was also almost a 600 yard shot with a 6.5 Creedmoor. So it's definitely to be expected. More blood here. There he is piled up right here, guys. We found him. There he is. That shot was a double lung shot at 611 yards. I knew we were a little bit high, and though we were, but it actually came out pretty nicely right through the center, a little bit upper lung on the opposite side there. And it didn't even come out because the shot was so far that it stopped right at the opposite rib, just barely came out the other side. But it was for surely a double lung shot. And let's find out what this was here. Oh, another two star adult. 89% on the genes as well. So another not such a great bull to take down. But still, aside from that, he's a beautiful bull kudu and we should be proud. I'm definitely proud about that shot. There is no way we could have made a shot like that with the, uh, what was it? The 30 odd six caliber, which is what we had before this thing came out. I mean, this 6.5 absolutely blows that 36 out of the water without even trying. Without even trying. Oh my god, you guys aren't going to believe this, but this freaking lion just literally attacked us. It started charging us randomly, and the only rifle I was able to pull out is a 6.5. Oh, there he goes! What is he? What is he? I guess it doesn't really matter much. We just need to get a shot off. Oh 
Oh my god, not even close. All right. Let's keep an eye on this lion. We'll watch him. It is a male. So it's worth tracking down. I'm not sure how big it is, but... Now this lion is right there. Oh, it's a two-star adult. Not the greatest one to take down, but we're going to take him down. If it was a three-star, obviously there's no way we'd take him down, but... Is that a kudu or a gimsbuck? Uh, that actually might be a springbuck. All right, let's take down this lion here. Once he gets out of that brush. And he's not going far, I'll tell you that. Nope, he's already slowing down. He's going to pile up right by that brush. Right over there. And that's going to be it. Right. There. Alright, let's go get him. He didn't go down yet, but he's going to be. Yeah. <laughs> exactly where we put that mark. Oh, so I just realized we have our lion piled up right here and our wildebeest is piled up right over there. Well, that's going to work out nice. Here's our lion and our shot was a left lung quartering away walking shot. Did get him a little far forward because he was quartering away, but that took him down pretty quickly. 180 yards out. And that was a two star adult. Not a bad one to take down. I mean, decent genes, but not super great genes. So overall, I'm okay with that. Not anywhere near as good a genes as our two kudus had. All right, guys, there's one last thing that I really want to test out this 9.3 on, and that is the Cape Buffalo. If we can take down a Cape Buffalo efficiently, well, I'd like to know. We got a nice one star mature right out in the front. Right there, 160 yards. Oh, well, that was a perfect shot, I'll tell you that. Let's watch him. Holy. Okay. That thing is not going down. Wait a second. Did he... Did he drop behind that rock just randomly? Or is that him there? I don't see any blood. But I know he ran behind that rock. And that was it. Well, we're going to take down this one here as well at 700 yards. I'd say we smoked that one. We're going to mark that one. Now that thing is hit hard. But I also don't see another one that potentially could be the one that we hit from before. I would have to say that he's piled up behind that rock. And there's our buffalo piled up right there. So there we have it. A 725 yard lung shot. Actually busted through the rib. Went almost all the way through that lung. Oh, it looks like it went all the way through. It did go all the way through and just barely missed the artery. I'm talking within a half an inch of hitting the artery and it would have probably dropped within 50 yards. But overall, really good penetration. And you can see it will definitely take down a Cape Buffalo at out to 700 yards. Wow.
that doesn't impress you, I don't know what will. And it was a one-star mature, too. Oh, what a perfect bull to take down. Absolutely horrendous genes. Oh, what a perfect bull to take down. Absolutely horrendous genes at 17% genetics. So, a fantastic bull to take down. But, anyways, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I would definitely recommend getting this rifle. Well, obviously it's going to come with the weapon pack, so as soon as you get it, you'll be able to use it. But what I'm saying is I would recommend using this rifle over any rifle for a big game. Because they just don't do that. 700 yards on a Cape Buffalo. You're lucky if you puncture the skin on this thing at that distance. Let alone a vital hit. And we're talking that was a guaranteed vital hit without even trying. It was just straight through the shoulder and we still did get a nice lung shot. So yeah, I would definitely recommend getting this 9.3. It's going to come with the DLC weapon pack. So as soon as you get it, I would recommend using it over all the other big game rifles in the game. Because they're just not going to be able to do what this thing can do at over 700 yards. Well, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.